Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to talk about deploying machine learning models using FastAPI and Docker. We are going to create a machine learning model. Then we are going to create a FastAPI app. And then we are going to create a Docker image. Let's start coding. So at the first step, we are going to start by creating a data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a notebook with the name notebook.ipymb. It's going to be an ipymb file. We are going to work on it. I'm going to use numpy for the data creation. I will say import numpy as the np and then I'm going to set something like after selecting Python environment, I'm going to set something like number of data points. It's going to be the raw amount, data amount that we are going to have. And then now I'm going to create the X. It's going to be created randomly and I'm going to add two features like I will say numpy random random number of data points we want 100 data points and I will say two features after that we can just check X and here's how our X looks like great so after that I'm going to set the Y I'm going to add weights and bias I want a linear regression suitable data for our model I'm going to set weights like numpy array and two and three and then I'm going to set the bias term like let's say five and then I'm going to create a while like x dot dot weights and I will say bias and I will say numpy random random number and number of data points after creating this we can just check y how it looks and it seems great okay now we have our x and y we can get to the next step the next step is going to be the creation of the linear regression model and I'm going to use scikit-learn for that. I will say from scikit-learn.linear model import linear regression and then I'm going to set model like linear regression just like this and then after setting this we can just say model.fit for training our model we will give the x and y. Great let's see our model summary and actually I think we can call this by another method model we can see the coefficient score get parameters I'm remembering something like summary but I think we don't have that we can just check the coefficients like this and we can see that we have this constant and this coefficient before the x so our formula is like y equals to 2 plus 25 96 26 13 plus 2 95 0 95 3 multiplied by x so we have a formulation like this so now we are going to export this model so for saving this model we are going to import joblib and then we will say joblib actually um let's say no thanks to this joblib.dump we will give the model and let's set it like linear regression model.pickle so after that what we can do is we can see our pickle file in here here it is so I'm just going to extend this you can see the pickle file and we can use this pickle file in our applications right now so let me show you how you can use it so you can use the joblib you will import the joblib in your applications and then you are going to use something like joblib.load and you will give the file name like this and you are going to set to something like model test and then you can just use model test to use its attributes like you can just say model test.predict and then you know we have two axes so for the predicting outcomes just like in here we have the model in here let's use this model for the prediction we will say model predict we need to give two axes like this one and one and we will get the result in here like actually let me quickly check okay it expects two dimensional array we are going to add a dimension right now and then it's going to work out smoothly yeah we can get the output like this from the model and after uh, saving and taking back this model in model test what you can do is you can just use it in the same way you can just say one on one and you can get a prediction it's going to be the same so it's it's used like this and joblib is a nice library for saving the models 
and also loading the models. So great, let's create our first API app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something like, let's say linear regression API and its extension is going to be .py this time. And when we create this file, now we can write our code inside it. We can say like, we will import surely fast API from fast API, import fast API. And then we will say from PyDantec, import base model. Also, we can say import job lab. And then we can say import UVCorn. We can also import scikit-learn. And we can just say, actually, I need to do like this. And we can just import NumPy. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to define a class for input data using Pydantic. It's for data validation. And we are going to set a class like class. And it's going to be our input data in API. We are going to say base model. Then our x1 is going to be float. And x2 is going to be float2. It's going to be our inputs in the model. And then I'm going to create the app, fast API. I'm going to initialize it like that. And the next step is going to be loading the model that we saved. It's going to be like model is going to be joblib.load, the method we used. And we will say linear regression model.pickle, like this. And now we can just say app.post. And we will say, let's say like predict endpoint. And then I'm going to say asynchronous define predict and we will say data is going to be input data it's going to be the input for the function and then we will extract the features like x1 is going to be data.x1 and x2 is going to be data.x2 then we are going to prepare the input data in a format that the model expects so we will say like input data is going to be numpy.array and it's a two-dimensional array we will say x1 and x2 like this actually let me quickly check numpy we need to say as mp for the usage great then we are going to return like let's say prediction and it's going to be prediction we have so let's create this prediction in here like we will say the loaded model prediction is going to be model.predict input data. And we are going to take the first element of this, like the value inside. Great. So after that, we can just say something like if name equals to main. And then we can say ubicorn.run linear regression api app we can say host let's say zero we are going to host this locally and then we are going to use docker 2 in this video and let's say port accused to 8000 and the next step is going to be also we can just say we can just talk about the code in here we import our libraries then we say class input data base model x1 float x2 float it's for defining the data type we are going to give to the api and we create this first api we initialize it and then we load our model in here then we create our post method predict endpoint and we define a function as predict inside here we take the x1 like this and we take the x2 like this then we get to the input data and the input data is in a two-dimensional array format. Then we use the prediction, like we use model.predict, and we give the input data, we take the value inside, then we return the prediction. Great, so the next step is going to be testing this API. Let's save this file, and then we are going to say, from the terminal, I will say, ubicorn linear regression API, app and i will say host 0000 and we will set the port as 8000 
So after this, what we can do is, I'm just going to go to the this side in here, and then I'm going to give it to the screen. So after running that, I'm going to go to the local host and 8000 in here, and we can see detail not found. We didn't enter any values like this. For checking our API, what I'm going to do is, I will say documents like this, and it's going to navigate us to the Swagger UI like this. Great. Now from here, we can test our API. Like I'm just going to enter into this. We can see request body, the example values and the responses. So let's say try it out. And then what we can do is we can change these values. Like let's say one and one, our previous example, and I'm going to say execute. And let's see our result. It's 200 and we got our prediction. Also, we can change these values like five and seven and we can say execute again and here is our prediction 36 we can use our machine learning models in fast api app like this we can change this to three and five we can say execute and our response is going to be successful 200 means successful response and our result is 26 great so our fast api app is ready the next step is going to be creating a docker image from this so what we are going to do right now is I'm going to get back to the VS code in a second. For the Docker side of things, you need to install the Docker to your computer. And then let's uh, just check if we have the Docker in the system. We can just say Docker in here. And we are going to get a response with Docker comments. It shows that we installed Docker in our computer and we can reach to it from the terminal. You can just check it by this and you can install the Docker from their websites. I'm also going to show you the Docker desktop side of things at the end of the video. Great, so we have Docker. The next step we are going to do is for creating a Docker image from this file is going to be creating a requirements file. Requirements files are really, really necessary because we often want to use the specific version of the libraries, like we don't want to update them. We just want a specialized version like 1.1.1 of the OpenAI library. We often want that because when you have a lot of apps in the server, you need to manage their environments. So I didn't create a virtual environment for this project for it to be simpler. But when you are going to install something on the server or when you are going to deploy an app to the GitHub, you need to just take the versions of the libraries. I'm just going to show you, I'm going to create the requirements file with you. Like if you do that, you can run 10, 15, 20 apps at the same time with their own library requirements and etc. Great, so let's create the requirements file. What I'm going to do is actually, we can just say save in here. I'm going to save requirements.txt. And then I'm going to say, the libraries we are going to use are this like that. I'm going to take it in here. And from here, we can just do like first API. We need to get the version of this Python tech, joblib, Ubicorn, scikit-learn, and numpy. So we can just delete this right now. And then I'm going to say, first I'm going to set this file up. Then I'm going to come to terminal and how we can see the versions is you are going to say pip show if you are using Windows, if you are using Mac, you can just say pip3 show. I think pip3 also works in Windows too. pip3 show fast API and we are going to get the version of this. Like you can see 0, 100, 0. We are going to set the versions like this and let's come to the Pydantic pip pip3 show pydantic and let's get the version of this 202 and let's also do the same thing for the joblib we are going to say pip3 show joblib and the version of it is 131 ubicorn pip3 show ubicorn and the version of it is going to be 0220 pip3 show scikit-learn actually pip3 show scikit-learn maybe it's like this yes it is it's 1 
three zero also let's change this name like scikit learn and let's also use this for the numpy and see its version like it's 1251 one. great now we can save our file our requirements file is ready right now great so we can close this all up like I'm going to save again and close these files now what we are going to do is we are going to create a docker file so let's create the docker file in here actually not new folder new file docker file like this also you need to install the extension from here you can just install it instantly from this extension site like i have installed in here and then what we are going to do is we are going to say from python 3.9 and then what we are going to do is we will say work directory is going to be app like this and then we will say copy requirements.txt and we also need to use the dot then we will say run pip install requirements txt and then we are going to say command and ubicorn then we will say linear regression api app like this then we will say host we will say zero 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 just like we did we will say port like this and then we are going to set the 8000 in here and it's ready great so so after this the next step is going to be installing the docker desktop from the official website of the docker you can just google like docker or docker desktop and after downloading the installation file you just need to create the basic installation process like you just need to install it basically like I didn't even sign up in my computer and it's running at the background you need to make the docker engine run and after just like one or two minutes after the installation your docker engine is going to be ready also we are going to talk about all these symbols let's get back to the VS code for creating our docker image after making sure that this runs great so from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my terminal and then I'm going to say docker build my linear regression API and then I'm going to say that and now we are going to create our docker image so when this finishes I'm going to come back to here I'm going to start to the record again it can take some time because it's making sure all the requirements is installed etc so you, i recommend you to wait until this finishes great let's start to the video when this finishes so it's finished right now great let's talk about this code again and then make our final types to the video so here what we do is we say from python 3.9 we say work directory is going to be app right in here we will say copy the requirements txt and install them inside the container the docker image and we say command uvcorn linear regression api app host this and port number 8000 great so great now i'm going to jump to the docker desktop so we can see our containers in here the docker images if you run them and we can just get to the images we can see our docker images we created we can see the volumes in here we can see the builds like this from this side also we just created our image like you can see from here like linear regression api that we just created like here you can get inside of it you can see the commands etc also you can see the builds development environments and great i think it's the final for our video and here is our docker image Thanks for watching the video. I'm sharing two or three new videos every week about data science and Python programming. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I shared a free data science bootcamp where I teach Python, Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Plotly, Seaborn, and Scikit-Learn with three projects. The video is about seven hours and it's completely free. You can just reach to that video from the cards of this video or the link in the description.